Hey guys, welcome back to Tia Turbo, and welcome back to yet another video. Sorry I haven't been able to make one for a long time. Um, it's because I know I didn't have the time. Now, before we start this video, um, I want to tell you something. So, I probably will be able to upload uh, videos for that much, like, for, like, that, usually as much as I usually do. This is mostly because I figured out I've actually had a disease. It's called ammonia or something, and, and, I, and I have it in my lungs, so I've been coughing a lot. So, um, I may not be able to do this as much as I, as much as I can, but... Um, I'll definitely, I'll definitely try to make some videos. So, anyway, today is my 17 subscriber special. And I so far figured out I've reached 17 subscribers. Thank you to all of you guys who have done that. And, um, now, this is something special that I'm pr pretty sure I think a lot of people are wanting to do. It is how to downgrade iOS. Um... On, and, and your device has to be on iOS 7.0 and up. Okay, it doesn't work with any lower version than 7.0 and up. So, um, this is how, how to downgrade iOS. And you don't need a computer. But, you do need jailbreak. Because without jailbreak, you're not able... <coughs> sorry. To, to, to do this. So, you have to jailbreak in order to do this. But, mine is already jailbroken. So, I can go ahead and do this. So... Uh, so first what you gotta do is you gotta go into your device, uh, go ahead and open that up. I can't show you my passcode, so I'm gonna do it right here. There we go. Now, as you can see, I recently have restored my uh, iPhone of iTunes, so that's why there's literally nothing on here but Cydia. So we're gonna go to Cydia. And... It's, it's, okay, here we are. So now, here we are in Cydia. So, now, uh, what you gotta do is go to the Sources tab right here. And I'm um, gonna edit, add, and then add the source coolbooter.com. So type in coolbooter. Hold on. Coolbooter. Dot com. So. Dot com. So make sure that's right. Okay, that's right. So add source. And then um, we'll wait for it to add the source, so it's gonna um, do that. And as you can see, you can see all the stuff. See, there should be no errors while you're trying to do this, because this is a trusted source. It's not reported by the community. It's pretty good. Um, yeah. Reloading data. Okay, return to Cydia. So, uh, poor social. I'll ignore that. I don't want to do that right now. So, we're going to Coolbooter, the new source. Go to packages. And as you can see, there's only three packages. There's Coolbooter, Coolbooter CLI, Coolbooter Tetherer. Um, all you have to install from this is Coolbooter and Coolbooter on Tetherer. So, um, well, so, we'll read Coolbooter first. We're not going to install it, but we're going to read it. Uh, Coolbooter is all one dual booting utility for jailbroken 32-bit iOS devices. So, yeah. Then Coolbooter on Tetherer. Let's see this. Uh, Coolbooter on Tether is the essential for Coolbooter that allows the user to boot their second OS automatically. To disable the on Tether, hold volume down during boot. So, Coolbooter and Coolbooter on Tether are the only ones you need to install. Um, <coughs> oh, God. Okay, so, Coolbooter on Tether, the reason why you need to install this is because, um, in case, if it doesn't work, you can always you can install this to fix it. So, we're going to install Coolbooter first. Install. So you can see, install a lot of stuff right here. Confirm and okay, hold it up. <coughs> oh my god! Sorry, guys. That that that's the whole reason why I have ammonia. You can tell because the the coughing and yeah everything. So link identity enter. Enter. Well, let's also see a substitute because that 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 should probably install because I'm installing the very first peak on here. 
Yeah. So, as, when you install Kubernetes, what you'll first say when you go into it is to please back your device with iTunes. Um, if you um, if you don't care about losing any data, you can go ahead and not do that. Um, now, right here on the other side of my phone, since I recently restored it, it literally has nothing on here but Cydia, so that's okay. And you can always get Cydia by Jerobrook in the OS before. Um, and I'll tell you more about that later. So, I return to Cydia. And now, all the packages. And then we'll install Kubernetes. Um, Whoops, uh, let's see, sources, oh, packages, <clears throat> cool builder on Tether, here it is, so let's install this, Okay, so it says restart springboard, so we'll go ahead and do that. So let's. Oh, okay, I already did it. Okay, that's weird. Anyway, uh, we'll wait for the Apple logo to go away, and then uh, we'll just wait. Yep. Oh, by the way, I'm downgrading on an iPhone 4 running iOS 7.1.2 right now. So, yeah. And when I made that video that said, like, the iPhone, iOS 5 and the iPhone 3 trick, um, and then meant iPhone 3, I actually meant iPhone 4. So, anyway, here's Cool Booter. Okay. Now, click the yellow install button right here. Um, why, why can't I click it? Oh, there we go. Okay. So, this is just so we can install through all these versions, 7.1.2 all the way down to 5.0. Well, I want to install 5.1.1, uh, so I'll click I'm ready. Uh, I don't, you can choose the storage if you want to. Uh, sure, I'd like to use one. Um, okay, I'll exit that. Um, yes, do verse, so can I just see all the code? Do you work the ORS? Install Cydia? Yes. Okay. Cooler. So, guys, I'm going to end the video right here. Don't worry, because after this is done, um, I'll make another video about setting it up and all that, because um, because, 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 the, because the installation will take about, like, an hour and, or, or an hour and a half. So, it will take a pretty long time to install. So, um, I'm, I'm going to end the video right here. Um, I will make another video, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Um, and there will be a part two of this video. So, okay, goodbye.